Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Puffco Peak Pro dab of the day. Hello, everybody. Today is Saturday. Thanks for joining me. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to join the family. Hit the subscribe button. Hit a like. Send it my way, please. And I love comments. I reply to them all. Let's get started. Powerless. A horrible feeling. Having no control over a situation. Watching something happen with absolutely no way of stopping it. Empowered. The opposite of that feeling. Feeling empowered is about knowing that you're in control. Calling the shots. It's about knowing that you're in charge of your own life. And that you have the strength and confidence that you need to make decisions and changes. It's about knowing that the things you do every day will help you achieve your long-term goal. And generally, living your life with purpose, safe in the knowledge that you have the power to change your situation, to have a positive impact on the world around you. It is not something we are born with. Some people are born more confident and self-assured, but there are things everyone can do to empower themselves, especially if we're feeling discouraged, unhappy, or even lost, which we all do at some point or another. So if you're feeling less than empowered, these things might help you get your power back. Here we go. Listen to your gut. I'm a gut instinct kind of guy. Many of us shut out our gut feelings and instincts and let ourselves be guided by external forces and other people. Did you know that? We need to try to do better following our instincts. Take other people's advice into account, even if they're experts, take it into account, of course. But don't automatically let that override what your gut is telling you when you're trying to make a decision. And check in with yourself. That's right, it's a busy, hectic world out there. So one of the most empowering things we can do for ourselves is disconnect from everybody else and sit with ourselves for 10 minutes. Lie down, meditate, take a stroll, do whatever you want to do with you. Create an empowering environment for yourself the best you can. Because if you're surrounded by clutter and continuously distracted with interruptions, my golly. So it's an amazing feeling if you can get more focus and get more done. Think of how empowered you'll feel. If we're more positive, we can do more for our community. Doing good for others in whatever way, shape, or form can be incredibly rewarding. Think how much I tell you I enjoy these videos for you. Do something kind for somebody around you and you'll realize the power you have to make positive change in the world and it will give you goose pimples. You will be overwhelmed, I promise you, because knowing that you've done well for somebody else, knowing that you're gonna do your bit for the planet gives you power. Plant the seed for a tree. I'm not kidding. But you know what you can't do? None of us can. We can't save the world single-handedly. Absolutely not. On the other hand, we need to realize that if we do our bit, we're making it, make it a huge difference, but not alone. So what we want to do is we want to let other people share the knowledge we have. It works both ways. We want to follow through with that information. If we're really doing well and feeling more empowered, my golly, we follow through on what we've done and it becomes a process and we can then share it even wider. And But you, you got to remember in that sharing, in that process can be failure. You can trip and fall on the track, running around the track. Athletes do it all the time, it happens.
But guess what? You can't have that fear if you want to live and succeed and have life to its fullest. It's going to be some risk involved. But guess what? With risk, it means there's risk of failure. But failure always teaches us a valuable lesson. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. So it teaches us even further. We want to be vulnerable. If you're constantly got your guard up, I mean constantly, you're protecting yourself from the bad. You definitely are. But you're also missing out on all the good things that can happen if you just had the confidence to put yourself out there. Being vulnerable is definitely a risk. But, but, vulnerability can lead to wonderful experiences and new lessons. And empowerment is all about being able to express our thoughts and feelings eloquently, unapologetically, and respectfully. Because it's a great way for us to just write, dance, draw, talk on the phone, whatever we like to do. And you have to remember not to feel responsible, in particular, for someone else's happiness. Sure, you want to let other people have fun. Sure, you want to in love and have people who you love have fun and be good. But you know what? You're not responsible for anybody's happiness except your own. You always can be a contributing factor to another person's happiness. But they're their own person just like we are and should never be entirely dependent on another person. You also want to remember to live in the moment. That moment happens, seize it, suck it, tear it apart, lick it, do whatever you have to do. Because when you're there in the moment, you almost can smell that great decision you've made and the decision you've made that will help others around you too. Well, take care of yourself. Don't put yourself in huge physical danger. Set achievable goals. And guess what it might let you, you might be allowed to do. You might even be allowed to pamper yourself once you feel truly empowered because the edge will be off. You'll even be able to relax. And instead of always looking over your shoulder in concept, you'll be able to sit and have a massage. Listen, it's not an overnight solution. None of these things are. But what I want to do is just bring our attention to it, that everybody out there, everybody, it doesn't matter your age, everybody out there has the opportunity to be empowered because nobody's giving it to you. Remember that. None of this discussion was other people giving you power. It's about you taking your own power and using it. I truly hope you all enjoyed this video. I think we hit, frankly, a terrific topic. If you did, join the family. Send some likes my way. And, of course, the comments I love to respond to. This has been The Real Senior Stoner. Talking about empowering ourselves. It's a big thing. Because think how bad things are sometimes. And think what it would be to have power. Well, guess what? We all have power. Cheers, everybody. I feel so empowered. Cheers. You all have a great Saturday. And thanks for watching. Cheers.